everyone. This is my son, Alan. My name is Aisha. And um, I actually brought him here to undertake the bone marrow transplant. It was actually half match. The brother happens to be the donor. And then everything has been fine. Even though there were itches, yes, you know, but with Dr. Bickett, there's nothing to worry about. It was a very pleasant experience we had. So um, I pray that God will continue to be with him. God will continue to put him through, you know, he's very, very calm. Even when things are not going so well, you calm you down. He will just let you know that everything is under control. And yes, it's under control because we are going back. So my, my son is doing so well now. He's doing well, there's no issues. So we are going back to our country. So thank you very much. Thank you, mommy, for the trust. And this is Dr. Vikas Tua. I'm the one who has done the transplant for the boy who's sitting on the left on the right was the donor. So both look very similar, but friends, they were not genetically matching. This boy didn't have sickle. On the left, the boyman had sickle. Both were 50% match. It was not an easy full match transplant. It was a half match transplant. And trust me, though patients who have, who don't have a full match donor, they feel that there is no solution. But in our center, the center where we work, we have a competent team of six pediatric hematologists who are dedicated, who are there to manage half match and complicated transplant. This boy is with us for the last eight months. The family is happy and they are going back to the home country, which is Nigeria. And there are quite a number of families who come to us with this trust, whether they have a full match donor or a half match donor. And our duty, our job is to make their kids happy, to make them sickle free. And that's what we do. And that's what we have done for Ayman. He doesn't have any sickle cell, even 1% sickle cells in his body. He's a sickle free boy living a normal life. He will go back to his country, will start having a normal life in a sense, normal school, mm -hmm. meeting friends, meeting um, and, and doing whatever a normal person can do. So my urge and pray to all of you who are listening to us, that just have a trust in the almighty and God. And if things fall in place, then your child who has got sickle or whatever hematological problem the patient has, there is a solution and we'll try to save you through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.